Where's the needle here? Eight times. He couldn't get it done. But he was like this. I said, what's wrong, man? I'm just Raul Salinas. And he was so nervous, bless his heart. Finally, the chief of police at that time, I mean, the chief of the fire department was uh, Chief Sosa. He said, let me handle it. So he took care of me. And I was not a happy camper, because when they took me to the hospital, <laughs> I got to tell you, it's a funny story. They took me to the hospital, and they hit every doggone bump. I must have hit like 73 bumps along the way, because the ambulances are huge. I don't think that guy voted for me, the driver. I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. But going back into this, um, I want to thank everybody that's here, you know, the partnership. I think that's what we really need. And the reason, Dr. Hawkins, we have been successful, because Laredo is a very special city. And I was not going to come today, but something as important as this is, something that the health department, our partners, uh, you know, the staff here, I like the staff of the city health department, please stand. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, I am indeed proud of, of, uh, of your efforts, and uh, we know that uh, we are committed uh, to making and striving for making Laredo a healthier uh, place to live and to play and, of course, to work. And, uh, you know, I had to miss work last night when I don't miss work. You know, I don't miss work often. But I think that we all know that heart disease and stroke is the number one and the number one leading, three leading causes of death here in the state of Texas. And I think the better informed we are and the, uh, uh, the measures that we take, and I'll be the first one to tell you, uh, you got the fried food, you got the sweets, and you got all this, and, and it's very tempting. But today, I'm going to make a uh, commitment. I, I also had a function yesterday. I also had a meeting. I'm sorry. I also had a meeting uh, with uh, with uh, supposed to have a meeting with the commissioner, Commissioner Staples, yesterday, and. Uh, I really regret it. I've been able to because I was not available. But you know, we got to teach our kids as well. We got to teach our kids as well. But I think we need to be a role model. And I, I asked the doctor uh, for a diet plan before I leave here. I, I really have to get my act together because I am obese. You know, I mean, I, I don't think I have to tell you, but I am. And and with the kind of schedule that I have, and you know, everybody says, "Ay, qué lindo, bien el gordito," and all that. Then that sounds cute and everything. But, you know, the chubby joke gets a little funny, but it's not funny anymore because uh, uh, with the stress level that I have, and, and I want to stress to everybody that um, we need to do better. And we do have uh, the problem with diabetes and, and other diseases, but for you to come to our city and present us with this uh, goal status and present it to uh, our city for reducing our efforts and for cardiovascular disease and stroke. And you mentioned four cities, but the best city and the city that's going to be on top of the list is going to be Laredo uh, with the innovative stuff that we're doing. Again, I want to commend Tim Smith. You know, uh, it is just awesome. Your facilities are awesome. And, and, uh, but it takes commitment. It takes commitment. It takes a desire to say, we're going to get it done. And I appreciate your company's uh, uh, commitment to our city because uh, public health is, is the number one concern. Again, Doctor, I, uh, I want to commend you and your leadership uh, for, for this great work. And, and you have one heck of a good team, people that work hard, that dedicate themselves, and that strive to do their job every day. And let me tell you something before I close, and I know I've been a little bit redundant, and, but this means a lot. This means a lot to our city means a lot to our city. And when I see the firemen out there, when I see the EMTs responding, when I see the police officers out there, so many people. There's one thing that I'm very sticklish about. I really am. One of my biggest pet peeves is when I go to and they tell you, well, that's not my department. If you want to really get me upset, that's one good way. 
And I expect our city to be at the forefront when it comes to customer service. Because when people come in there and they, um, they pay you the fees that they have to pay you, a lot of them really struggle. And I mentioned earlier, Dr. Hawkins, about our poverty level in our city. There's people in our city, unfortunately, that are living in their trucks. That is not acceptable. And I don't care what anybody says, but I think every American deserves a right to be taken care of. Health care is a priority in my book. And I know that there's been uh, a lot of uh, um, debate about this health care initiatives. I hope that we can come to some agreement. But as strong and as powerful as the United States of America is, there should no one, no one should ever be denied health care. I don't care, but you know, that is the right thing to do. And hopefully those guys that up there on Capitol Hill, I hope they get their act together. But the way we get our act together is because of you. Sister, I don't know how many hours of uh, work you do, volunteer work that you do, and many of you, but somebody's got to pay attention. The same thing with education. What the heck are they thinking? We are rated number 48 in education. That is absurd. And then you have the leadership, and I'll, I'll go on record, Como dicen, no tengo pelos en la lengua. I don't know how you translate that, but I ain't going to hold back. That's, all, that's a nice thing of saying it. But we're rated 48th in education. There's something wrong with that picture. And again, but priority, priority. Doctor, we can't do anything if we don't have good health, right? And it's a doggone shame that we have this argument. And uh, I am supportive of... Uh, any medical initiative that's going to help our community. There is no reason whatsoever that anybody should be denied or not taken care of. We can do better. The state of Texas is the fastest growing state, but it ought to be also the fastest growing in medical care, in taking care of our citizens, in education. If we don't have that, well, then something's wrong. And you know where the problem really lies? We don't go out to vote. I'll leave it at that. If you don't go out to vote, they ain't going to pay attention to you. Because every single politician in the nation's capital, they, and in Austin as well, they look at the numbers. They say, oh, they don't go to vote, so why should we care about them? Well, to me, this means a lot. It means a lot to me, but it means, and I accept it in behalf of the city. This is for the citizen, not for me. This is, this is really for the people of Laredo and the hard work that they do each and every day. Let's keep doing it. And let's, let's lift it up another notch. Let's go up another notch, because there's always room to do more. Doctor, I want to shake your hand and embrace you for coming here to our city. I know that I already greeted you at the airport and welcoming you here at the airport. Uh, that, that means a lot. That really, really means a lot. And, and, and you know, I've got to say one thing. I've got to say one thing. And that is that Dr. Gonzalez and his awesome staff uh, has um, really uh, gone really out of the way. And we've had some support from our senators and from our local legislators because we've gone uh, the lab. We can do testing here, <coughs> right? And you can get the results the same day. You don't have to wait two weeks. So that's, the, that's really progress. We want to be partners, Doctor. I, I want to make that very clear. When I talk about Austin and I talk about sometimes we knock on the door, ain't nobody home. Well, the way they're going to be home is when they see people getting involved in the system. And I'm not running for anything anymore. I'm not running. If I was running, you'd really hear a lot more. <laughs> no, but, but you know, in reality, I'm just a very simple man that I chose to run and run for this office because I really care about people. I really care about people. I want the best for our people. I just don't want the people of Laredo uh, to be left behind. I'm not going to stand for it. I'm not. And if people criticize me for that, well, let it be. But I will continue to do the best job that I can 
to represent the city, because I love the city more than you know. I'm one of those that came from out of town. And when the people from out of town welcome me, I, I feel so humble. But let's take care of our citizens. And today is this um, award for the people of Moreno. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. God bless you. Because this is the people's effort. And thank you very much for your thank continued you. success. Thank, thank you, you. man.